Okay, so today I'm going to be looking at Jira. Uh, anyone in the product management uh, or product tracking even space uh, for software teams will know this, obviously, part of Atlassian. That's how you pronounce it. They have so many of these products now. First thing I noticed on coming into the landing page, onto the website, is that uh, this double header. It's <laughs> In fact, it's a triple header because you've got the Atlassian one, you've got the Jira one, and then you've got this kind of CTA for here for something that's coming up. Um, obviously, if I start scrolling, those disappear, but that at the top is, is really quite overwhelming. Anyway, so two CTAs here. Uh, get it for free, get it free. So I'm going to click on the main CTA. And our cloud products work even better together and get another one for free. Okay, so supports up to X, blah, blah, blah. Is always free, no credit card needed. Okay, so it's great to know I don't need a credit card. It's all very bunched in here. There's very little, um, there's very little padding around the outside of the main container. So it feels very squashed and a little bit harder to read and the hierarchy is completely, uh, you know, the hierarchy is not not really there kind of thing. It's it's a little uh, where do I read? You know, up down, left right. It's not uh, not great. So um, I'm going to go with the can I go for both? I can. No, I can't. Okay, so select a. Okay, you see so. Select the second product, um, get another one for free, obviously, as I've explained here. Uh, but I wasn't sure whether I could get both of those, you know, which one was I signing up for. So you selected Jira software, select the second product. Okay, so it has to be one of these. But as you can see, I was confused by that. Again, they've so little, uh, so little vertical space, so little padding around here. Everything is just crammed against the top and it makes it really uncomfortable to uh, to see. It's quite quite claustrophobic. Uh, and even while obviously using these sort of um, confidence strengtheners over here with the logos and the trusted buy and, you know, showing how it can help me. It's really crammed up against this. Um, okay, so continue with Google, continue with email. It's nice that they give us the option to go with Google straight away because I'm always going to do that. Always going to go with Google when signing up for something. If I have the option. Okay. Site so must be three or more lowercase letters and or numbers. Must be three or more lowercase letters and or numbers. Um, <laughs> there's something I'm missing here. Must be at three, at least three lowercase characters, numbers and letters only. So I can't have capitals at all. Is that the problem? See, that's not, that's not very clear because it says three lowercase at least. It doesn't say I can't have, <laughs> it doesn't say I can't have uppercase. It just says three lower at least. So that was confusing because uh, my username does have UX uh, in, in capitals. Okay. So, da, 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 promotional, no thanks. Nice job on the tick here, so I know it's all good. Okay, agree. Welcome back, Nathan. Agree, agree. I find this language, this dry use of language, just so difficult to get on with. Agree, agree. If you spoke to somebody like that, you would not get very far at all. Agree, you know, it's like it's giving an order. Um, I, I, I think a, a better use of language would be far more um, beneficial, I think, for both them and for us. Uh, yeah, not, not a fan of that. Okay, so got the loading icon there, so at least I know what's going on. And again, there, as I saw this. So tell us a bit about yourself. Type of work do I do? Da, da, da. Gonna have to go with other. So it's good actually. I always like the enter for submitting 
on a form, but it's great that they let me know within the input field directly that that was what was needed. That's nice because it's not obvious to everyone. So I'm going to go with founder. What are my main tasks? Uh, design and diagramming, to, to, to improving workflows. And then we'll go with that. This, uh, this year is going to fail, I think, pretty much any standard accessibility uh, compliance testing. Anybody with a minimal uh, minimal vision uh, impairment is not is is going to skip over this. If, uh, <laughs> ironically, they're not going to see this. They're not even going to know it's here, uh, and prob possibly even with this on the background as well. So that's uh, that's not great. Text here I know is supposed to be small, but again, pretty sure that's going to fail any uh, compliance standards, accessibility compliance standards. Okay, so one moment your site is starting up. When you get in, explore the products. Click the, and again, here. Look at the look at the contrast of this gray on the white. Um, again, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be failing or very close to failing. Um, yeah, okay. A lot of us fall into the mistake of designing designing for ourselves and thinking, well, you know, I can read that. That's okay. That's fine. So therefore, it's good. Uh, we need to stop thinking like that. Help us set up. Help us set up your Jira. I am new to Jira. We have a flexible schedule to finish our work. I'm just wondering as well. Yeah. Okay. Just the small things, consistency, all that stuff, like the alignment issues look weird here. Having this up off o over to the right. I mean, I know this can depend on what screen size we're on and all that kind of good stuff, but it is just a little weird. Um, okay. Create a project. So create a project. Okay. So again, we've gone with this really dry use of language name name um i presume i'm naming the project you can change these details any times uh but it's certainly not it's certainly not uh, explicit here you know is it my name is it the project name so i'm going to go with the project name mm, the most inventive name in the world test project okay so template recommended kanban again tiny tiny text here and over on the hover, no no padding whatsoever around this, uh, making it very difficult to read. Um, again, typically we're going to have the these buttons seem to be backwards. Typically, we would have the affirmative action on the right and the uh, the should we say the negative action on the left. Think about cancel and accept on the left. So for some reason, these are backwards. Um, oh. I presumed I was going to be checking out. Oh, I was okay. That was disconcerting. I presumed I was going to be checking out different templates because there was the there was the um, there was the icon there to let me know I could. I was taken to the Kanban template, which is fine. Okay, and now I presume I'm seeing the other template options. See now, if I, yeah, that was disconcerting because that wasn't what I was. I thought I was going to be given those options, you know, um, they were going to scroll down or something along those lines because I was seeing the, um, sorry, the words escaping me right now, um, <coughs> the chevron. Anyway, so I will go with this because I see the options here for more templates. So I'm taken to this anyway. Um, and if I click on here, and click this to close and I'm taking here as well. So that's 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 confusing. More options. Okay. Okay. So yeah, it's pretty pretty uh pretty wonky. A little wonky. Could definitely feel this could be improved here. And again here, we've got some real accessibility issues here. Again, we've got the the next button here. I know it's grayed out because we need to accept something first. But it is so grayed out that, again, anybody with any kind of vision impairment is not going to see this at all. Um, yeah. 
I mean, there are a few options here. We could either just remove that next button altogether and not display it at all until one of these items is, is selected. Um, or just bring up the, you know, just bring up the contrast on this next uh, and just choose to use a color that will be used consistently throughout the uh, onboarding process to for, for people to recognize as a um, non-selected item at the moment. Um, okay, so tooltip again, very squashed in, makes it very difficult to read. So I'm gonna go with, um, da, 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 I'm just gonna go with Slack. Okay, and we're finally, finally in. That was a l pretty long onboarding process, or rather just to get into the app. And now we're gonna go with the walkthrough. So welcome, let's get you settled in. Now typically the first few minutes of any new customer journey are the most crucial because they're either gonna bail straight away or make it into the app and then decide that this is looking like too much work uh, and bail again. So there are two crucial elements to the sign up process. The first one being the part we've already seen and then once we're taking into the, uh, into the software itself. So it's great to see here that they do have the option to con continue exploring uh, by myself or to take the tour. I wonder if I click on the explore by myself, will I be given the option? Will I be told, hey, if you want to take the tour again, uh, you'll be able to find it in, you know, and whatever that place, place might be. Um, so often this is uh, forgotten about. So mm, very, uh, very often you'll just click on, no, explore by myself or skip the tour. And then that's it, you're, you're kind of, uh, you're, you're, you're stuck. And I'm scared to click on explore by myself uh, because like I said, it's so common, so I'll just click on take the tour because I, I don't want to risk it. Okay, so uh, so a few things here. So I can see that they've got these uh, highlights and items tied in with the quick start guide over on the right. Um, I presume I can expand these. So I create a project. Okay, so by clicking on that, I've removed the highlight from here. And again, it seems like I've broken I've broken what was the uh, the standardized walkthrough that I was, you know, that I was taking that the, was highlighted here and pulled out here. Um, how do I get back to that? View all projects? No. Now I'm completely out of the flow. Um, let's work. Let work. Let work flow with Kanban. Uh, so show me, is that gonna, uh, okay. Ah, uh, you see, this is where I was confused because I could see the check mark against create a project, but because that, that top check mark is right against the progress bar, um, I presume that there was still some element of this that hadn't been completed. So which is why I was confused when I was, uh, was clicking on this and all of a sudden I'm losing this progress here. So that was confusing. Okay, so if I go here now, I can see a board is where you visualize your team's progress, uh, process, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, and then if I go to next, okay, it's continued to continuing to call these out. Okay, and then on to the next one. Okay, okay, well, um, that's pretty cute. Cool. That's pretty good, I guess. Um, if I dismiss quick start. Ah, you've done it, awesome. To reopen Quick Start, select your profile icon, then uh, open Quick Start. Fantastic. You won't believe <laughs> how many how many SaaS just don't have that there. And it's, it's, uh, it's fundamental, you know, you can click off it for any reason. You might not have time, you might do it by mistake. Um, Okay, all right, that was a bit weird. That's funky as well, that's weird. So open quick start, then I minimize it here, thinking that it had gone, and then you know I just presume, because I've just read, that it's gonna be in here and now it's not, because it's minimized down here, and not available up here while it's minimized. So just something to bear in mind. Anyway, that's definitely, definitely, definitely the first few minutes of customer onboarding in Jira. Definitely some things there that I would I would want to look at. And again, I'm looking here at tiny, tiny little icons that are barely visible. Um, 
yeah loads lo- loads of different loads of different things that would really aid uh in in the speed to which folks can get inside and better understand what it is that's going on as well um uh, but yeah got some good things there and definitely some things to improve